Indeed, Slav nationalism has become an increasing threat to the stability of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Over the centuries, the empire has acquired more and more territory. The result is that many nationalities with different interests are citizens of the empire. 12 million are German. 10 million are Magyars. All the Slav races together number 23 million, 46% of the entire population of the empire. Three and a half million are Romanians, and there are three quarters of a million Italians. The established order is increasingly being challenged by those who live and work outside its charm circle. Even if it takes violence, Slav nationals want to assert themselves. Pan-Slavism, they call it. And they now seem to have active encouragement from the independent Slav nation-states on or near the very border of the empire where Serbs and Bulgarians are ruling themselves. This is King Ferdinand of Bulgaria. The recent assassination is shocking evidence of the strength of Slav nationalist feeling. The Balkans, this troubled area of Europe. A German cartoonist sees it like this. The Balkans once formed part of the Turkish Empire, but as Turkey's power has declined over the past century and she has faced defeats, some of her former provinces have become independent states. Others have been taken over by stronger neighbors. In 1907, this was the extent of Turkey in Europe, with Bosnia administered by Austria. A year later, Austria deliberately took Bosnia over entirely, plus neighboring Herzegovina, thus blocking Serbia off from access to the Adriatic Sea, to the anger of the Serbs. But most dangerous of all has been Russia, the most powerful Slav nation. The Tsar is the traditional protector of his fellow Slavs and all Orthodox Christians. Russia's been keenly interested in what has been happening in the Turkish Empire, wanting to keep her right of access through the Straits, the Dardanelles, past Constantinople to the Mediterranean, giving her all year round access to warm water ports. Two years ago, War did break out in the Balkans when Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria and Greece formed the Balkan League to attack Turkey and seize more land inhabited by Slav nationals. In the background was Russia, with advice and encouragement for fellow Slavs. Last year, there was even a second Balkan war when the Balkan League warred amongst themselves over territorial gains. As a result, Serbia, the most nationalist state, has almost doubled in size. 